or the swivel in the knee. Same thing with that foot. But there's the Sasuke. The next one we're going to be going over is a big Orochimaru. He's only missing one piece. There's this um, chakra that broke off right here. And I'm missing it. I can't find it. But it would basically come all the way around him and go in front. But this Orochimaru here, no movement in the head, which you can probably guess it, all this hair prevents that. The uh, arms are on a twisting joint right here. Same thing with this twisting joint. There's a swivel in the top where the sleeve is. You can see the tattoo on Orochimaru's wrist where he summons the snake, the blood seal, I think. Then you can see he's got swivel in the, the hand. The hands don't come off because he didn't come with no switchable hands. And then the, um, there is movement in the waist but not by much because of that rope. The legs can move up and down. There is bend in the knee. He comes off this stand, but I'm not going to take him off because it's so hard to get him back on. But anyway, just twist this hand back here. Put his hand there. Put his hand there. And he's getting ready to summon his big giant snake. The detail in Orochimaru's face. The little snakes. And that's the Orochimaru. The next one I'm going to be going over is, um, this is the American version of the Gara. I lost the arm. I cannot find it. I've tried looking hard for it, but I cannot find it. But there is a hinge right here. You can see it. It just moves back and forth a little bit. There's a swivel in the elbow right in here in his um, little net looking shoulder stuff there's a swivel right there the arm is on that weird twisting joint it just twists right there there is a um, swivel in the wrist because the hands can be taken off and changed I just lost the changeable hands the head can look side to side and then the rest of his body is pretty much a statue. You can see right here where um, it's coming apart. There's a swivel right there where it's coming apart. It swivels right there. And he stands on this sand. I'm missing a piece of sand right here. Can't find it. And then the sand that's in his gourd. And there's a hinge right here where the sand can actually come around I guess like it's blocking him another piece I'm missing too which is a cool feature that came with it he came with a face plate that would attach on him and it would be like a half sand face he would look like he's halfway in the sand with that weird evil grin but that's the detail in the Gara. but yeah it drove me crazy that I could not find that hand I looked for years for it and to replace that I ordered this one. This one is the Japan release, though. You can tell the coloration in it. Here's his gourd. This is how it would plug in his back. And I ordered this one that came from Japan to replace that. But you can see the um, coloration in the skin. It's more like a peachish pink compared to the um, original skin tone. I'll slide him out of the little pack here to get you a better look at him <clears throat> then you'll see what I mean you can see here his skin is um, close to a peaches pink compared to the original skin tone color and here is the whole arm right here that I lost 
but yeah, you can see it right there. Actually, these may be like some, uh, I don't know. Well, his head, maybe he just was exposed to too much light when they had him. Because right here, it does have the skin tone. And then when you go into the arm, it turns to that pinkish peach. Same thing over here. Regular color in the arm, pinkish peach. And then the neck, it's regular color. But when you get it to the head, it's pinkish peach. So, yeah, guys, I don't know about that one. But this one works better than um, the American one did because we're um, it's so t stiff over there. But yeah, his arm would go up like that. And then back down. <laughs> I'm pretty sure y'all remember this. Let's see if I can get the pose right. I'm sorry the video's taking so long. But if there's any Naruto fans out there, they won't care. Oh, that is cool. There we go. Sin Coffin. Sin Burial. <laughs> the Sin Coffin, yeah. But yeah, this is um the Gara that I always liked. Don't get me wrong, I still do like the Shippuden Gara. And um the Gara that showed up when they fought Kimimaru. But I always liked this outfit on him better. But anyway, that's going to do it for this um, part 2 of my Naruto figure collection. I'm sorry it was such a long video. But you all have a blessed one. And I will catch you guys in the next one. And goodbye.